Okay, let's continue on. Pretty dark. I don't know. Everything's dark in this game. What the? I should have expected that. Should have seen that one. What the fuck? This fluorescent light is upside down. Oh my god, the floor is on the ceiling. Oh, <laughs> that is kind of cool. Oh, that was. That is a trip. That is a. That is a. Serious trip. Let me. Can we get the flashlight on? There we go. Huh. Weird. Wait, if everything is upside down, then why is there a ladder on the floor? That doesn't make any sense. No sense at all. What is this thing? Looks like a- okay, it looks like one of those upgrade chairs that you- like Sebastian would sit in. Except it's missing the skull compartment. The skull cap. I gotta admit, it's- I think it's really cool how- how much shadows are in this game, like some of the environments are completely black. It's very eerie. Whoa! You were assigned to your team for a reason. Castellanos, Oda, they know nothing. But they're searching for answers. Searching for us, you mean? One of us. But this may be our chance to remove them. Having all of you in one place will provide us with opportunities. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, what did he mean by having all of you in one place will provide us with opportunities? Was that basically him admitting that Mobius sees uh, Julia as nothing but a pawn? I, I hope, I hope our character realizes at this point that she's, she's basically being used. Oh my god, it's the Crimson City Police Department! <gasps> this is amazing! Oh, it's another one of those searchlights. Ugh. This is... the police department. Why am I here? So, I went on the Wikipedia to find out about... Oh, uh, what's his name? What's his name? Ivan. Ivan Diaz? And um, I decided to look up what these this uh, mannequin like thing is called. Apparently, they're called or it's called a shade, which is really ironic for something with the with the searchlight for a head. Really painfully ironic. Uh, still not sure whether to call it a he or a she or an it. But this place looks eerily normal super super normal maybe it's just that i've been playing this for for so long that um everything that looks normal is kind of creepier than uh, all the carnage okay pedro martin and marta martin have you seen this woman who is this woman i wonder if, i don't think this woman is very important but could this have been the couple that was um talking about their child when we were in uh, the mansion, the Victoriano mansion? There was a couple that was like talking in hushed whispers in one of the areas we visited while we were Sebastian. Okay, I don't want anything to happen right away. What is that like? There was a little path over there that we could have checked out, but maybe go through here first. Oh! Another uh, soundtrack. Oh, what the heck? <laughs> That's kind of interesting. A sushi. Huh. Somebody was really into Japanese stuff here at the police department. Fernando Cabrera is missing. I don't know who this guy is. Niagara Falls. 
Lost dog. <laughs> Little chihuahua and a pug. Who I I don't know who are these like who these people are. I don't know if they're important. But they're the same same pictures that keep showing up. Amelia White? Christopher Taylor. Looks like uh this room wasn't important after all. Just a bunch of names. Now should I go through here or through the main door? Oh, whoops. How's Lily doing? Great. Everything's going fine. Just wish my wife would be home more to take care of her. She barely took maternity leave, huh? One of Crimson's finest, I suppose. She's a great cop in her own right, but we can manage without her for a little longer. You should hope she doesn't hear you say that, or you'll be out in your ass, Joseph. This looks like it's way before I got here. Everyone's so much younger. But Sebastian's profile didn't say he was married. Let alone a child. Oh man, the tone of Julie's voice. Oh, do you have regrets? Do you have regrets that you're supposed to kill him? Oh, is that why? <gasps> Is that why Julie ends up kind of saving Sebastian at the end of the main game? Because she learned of his, uh, his kid? Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! So cool. Anyway, so, I was, I was curious about how long Joseph and Sebastian were partners. In his diaries, um, it sounded like he broke Joseph in for a while. But I had no idea how long exactly they were partners for. I guess, I guess it was for a while. Either that or all the stress from the job made uh, Sebastian really old. Okay, oh, I don't know the combo yet. So we're gonna take a look around. Here it is, 1, 20, and 5. Let's see, 1... All right. Hopefully this is scrap number three. Yeah. So I only missed one. That's a freaking shame. That's super annoying too. Alright. Well. Can't help it. I want to check out this door. And the two doors on the other side of that whiteboard before I move on. Doesn't look like there's anything in here. I knew I should have checked these two out earlier. What is this, a file? Personal document? No. Nothing. Nothing of importance. But since this is an interrogation room, there might be something through here again. What would be in here? Looks like nothing. Yeah. Absolutely nothing. Lame. Alright. Since we're done checking out the um the police department, let's get out of here. Alright, here we go. Things are starting. Window. Let's take a look outside. Never mind. There's nothing to see out there. It's so empty. Look, Seb, we need to talk. Going off with your conspiracy theories? You're getting out of control. You don't pull that in front of the captain. I'm on to something, Joseph. I don't need you hiding shit from me, too. I'm not, Sebastian. I'm trying to help. I want to help. But you need to think about this carefully. Your daughter. It was a loss everyone on the force felt. But your wife is... Myra left, Joseph. She left. When we needed each other the most, Myra left me. What would make her do that? I have to know. I don't care what it costs. His daughter, then his wife? One right after the other? No wonder he always seemed so closed off. Yeah, and that's when Sebastian started taking to the bottle. 
Oh shit, so this is what she looked like. Maya Castellanos. Huh. She does not look like what I expected her to look like. I don't know, I was imagining a dark haired woman since Sebastian has dark hair himself. So in case you guys don't know, um, that's, that's Sebastian's wife. They had a kid named Lily. And I think the three of them got into an accident and Lily died. I forgot what exactly happened. I can't remember off the top of my head. But afterwards, Myra started getting all weird and she left Sebastian. His, or like, the diary entries kind of, they kind of imply that she started thinking that what happened to their kid wasn't an accident. So she started like doing her own investigations and that's why she left. Or at least that's through Sebastian's perspective. Hell, he could have just gotten really depressed and she left him. Or she could have just gotten too stressed out to handle everything and she left him. We don't really know. But yeah, Sebastian thinks that um everything that happened to his wife and daughter was a, was a conspiracy. He was set up somehow. They did it to him on purpose. Julie Kidman? She barely has any experience, and we don't even know anything about her. Send her out canvassing witnesses, then. Let her see the streets. No. She's... she's coming with us. I'm going to train her. She's my responsibility. Look, I know you say it's personal, and I don't like to talk about it, but we can't have your misplaced guilt leading to rookies slowing us down. Sebastian... he and Joseph weren't supposed to be involved. It shouldn't have happened like this. Okay, so he was definitely rooting for us. Sebastian believed in Julie, but why? Why did he like why did he think that Julie is his responsibility? How are they involved? With like what is was there a, a, some sort of weird relationship before? You've been on assignment for a week. How has it been? Observe and report, just like you ordered. It's surreal to be on the other side after all I've been through. Any signs of anything? Nothing yet. I'm not about to be caught snooping around the classified room while I'm still on probation, so I can't get what they have on us. Just earn their trust. That's all you can do now. It'll take a while, but in the end, they will let you in. I didn't know all these police officers were characters, though. Guess the tough, hard-boiled detective stereotype is still going strong. Our reports on Oda are that he doesn't let things slide. So be extra careful around him. Will do. Though I can't imagine us getting along well. And... Detective Castellanos. Anything you have to share on him? Seems drunk half the time. But at least he's considerate. Is he really the one people are concerned about? He seems almost harmless. He is known to get emotional just make sure to give him his space respect him as your superior oh my goodness okay so while I, the first time i heard this agent's voice i was thinking she kind of sounds like tatiana maybe except she speaks a little bit more like normal than tatiana tatiana speaks kind of like weirdly like listful and stuff but right here he is known to get emotional just make sure to give him his space respect him as your superior this agent speaks as if she knows sebastian kind of personally respect him as your superior why would an agent of mobius give a damn about whether kidman respects him or not just follow his orders is what she could have said could it be that this agent is myra Oh man, oh man, oh man, okay, well, I guess we're gonna find out. Um, yeah, nothing left, let's continue on, find out more about what's, like, more backstory. This is awesome. I'm really liking this. This is Crimson? This can't be real. The light. A stem prototype at Beacon. OK, 
Okay. Well. Beacon. I just hope I can get there before he does. I guess uh, Sebastian's vision of Crimson City wasn't just a, a like a hallucination. Well, it might be, but it's a shared hallucination. Okay. What the hell? What is this? A shoe! A pair of shoes! What the f- Is that like a little easter egg? Cool. Weird. I don't really know what they mean, except... I mean... It could be a reference to Mirror's Edge, sort of, but those those don't look like Faith's shoes at all. And that that little Easter egg's been done before by um by another game. I forgot which which one it was. Wait, is that Cedar Hill Church? Cedar Hill, I, I... And that billboard over there says the chapel. I remember, I know that, that name, Cedar Hill. It's, it's like some... It's a name that's a part of like this game's storyline and its lore. But I forgot how it was important. Oh! Oh man, I almost didn't recognize that guy. Or I didn't even... Almost didn't notice him. Pushing enemies from rooftops, that's awesome. <laughs> that's so cool. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Okay. He's not coming back. Nope. Well, why don't we kick off this one too? Jeez. Alright. Continuing on. That's... Be super careful. I've already died enough times so far. Let's try not to die anymore. I don't know, there's something about that... The shade? That's just super creepy. The, uh, the feminine legs that are oh so sexy, combined with the, um, the weird lab coat that it wears as like a cape. The um, gender neutral, kind of like deep voice. It's kind of unsettling. Alright, guy. Please don't turn around. Thank you. Okay. Looks like. Oh shit. Oh shit. He almost saw me. gonna have to walk pretty fast because he doesn't come all the way over here but I'm gonna I'm guessing he's gonna take a moment yeah so the moment he turns around I'm not gonna sneak I'm just gonna walk up right behind him not run but walk nice and steady looks like we're about to go yep that's it let's go Nice and steady. Oh my, okay, so my heart is kind of going right now. But we're good. This is gonna, this is gonna work out. Yeah, just fine. Alright, a switch. I saw a path that led to somewhere right before I pushed the gut. Yeah, this, I want to check out this before we flip that switch open. Ooh, yes. Hello. Hello, hello. I fucking love axes. Man. Fantastic. Probably gonna end up needing it then, huh? I wonder if that axe was there just so we can kill the one that was here on this platform. At any rate, if the axe was meant for that guy. I just did it the hard way. That's cool. Alright. Hmm. 
So, during the main game, Joseph and Sebastian had, like, met up around this area. I wonder if we'll meet up with them, too, at some point. Oh, another file. Looks like we're in a safe zone, at least, so let's check out the file. The rumblings kind of make me nervous. Oh, and there's a, another box with a letter scrap. Can't, can't forget that. Well, here's where you'll be living. The view's pretty spectacular, huh? <laughs> Holy shit. This is different than I'm used to. If you saw where I grew up. The past is over. You're with us now. Here are the keys. It's yours. You'll have to take care of your own food, clothing, and incidentals. But your bank account has more than enough to take care of that. So, that's it? What am I supposed to do? Whatever you desire. But your assignment at the Crimson City Police Department is precedent to everything. You are a police officer, and you must live as such, and act as such. I don't normally say this, but thank you. You shouldn't be thanking us. These aren't gifts we provide. You have a very specific assignment at KCPD, and all of this is in exchange for that. Okay, you're right. Sorry. Don't apologize. Just show us you can do your job. Hmm. <laughs> she must have... Well... She's a junior detective, Julie. Julie's a junior detective, so she must have not had this assignment for that long. I wonder how long that agent has been employed. Because if she's a relatively new agent, then there's a high chance that that agent that communicates with Julie could be Myra. But at the same time, if she's been there for a while, that means that Myra has been a double agent? I don't know. I'm starting to confuse myself. I don't know. We'll see. I should probably stop making guesses. They might just ruin everything. I am starting to realize that little guess I made about Myra being a... The agent is probably totally off. <laughs> probably totally off. Where is the code? Oh wait, it's not a, it's not going to be a code. It's one of these where these um puzzles where I have to light up everything. Oh, it's a certain number of moves. Well, shit, then turn these on. Turn this on. Turn these on and oh, there we go. got lucky with that one. <laughs> Let's see here. Looks like I got all the personal files so far and all the research documents. This is good. I just messed up here. Yeah. So, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Maybe if I can, depending on how fast I edit, maybe I can just stick on the, the last scrap at the end of the, this playthrough. Shit. What's happening? Okay, well, looks like uh, the action's about to start. So far, so you good. You said I shouldn't be, but I am thankful. I don't know what would have happened to me if you hadn't brought me in. All right. Well, the mark looks like it might be my only way out. Possibly. What's this? Sculpture piece. Okay, we gotta make the um the star since it's kind of broken. Let's check out everything first. These two rooms. All right. Well, nothing. Can we go through here? Yeah, I can. Why does it feel like this is- oh, never mind. Um, the, uh, the star door is probably the exit. But we should take care of what's in here first. Before we go through that exit. Maybe we'll find some more hints and clues. I hope so. 
So far, this game is very... Whoa! Oh, no. I was just about to say, so far, this game seems like it's very lacking in, uh, in excitement, but damn, was I wrong. Well, I don't... There it is. There it is. I think... I thought I saw a faint glow somewhere. Where's the haunted? There it is. Okay, question. The question is whether I should just try to sneak on by her or use the axe. I think I can make it without fighting. Sculpture piece too. Okay, well, I got it. Let's get the fuck out of here. Or maybe I should go through this door. Let's find out what's through this door. Oh man, okay, well there's nothing. Nothing in here. Fuck me. I should have just left. It's not too late though. I can still leave. As long as she doesn't come in. Thank you for not coming in. Okay, well... Which way are you gonna go? Where is the exit? Okay, the door to get out of here is just beyond her. Oh, bro. Okay. Okay, okay. Please head to the right. Yeah. And we're off. We're out. We're good. Golden, golden, golden. Be careful. Slowly, 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 slowly. Yeah. Alright, let's go. No, 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 no. No, what's going on? Oh, fuck. Okay. Oh, god. Okay. Okay, another one. Let's do it. Come on, make the start. Make the start. Make the start. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, jeez. She can probably bust through the door, right? Come on now. Julie? Why is this so tricky? Jesus. There we go, got it. Oh man. This is your last chance to prove yourself to us, kid. Don't let us down. Bring the boy to us. Stop it! Get out of my head! You know, I kind of forgot about Leslie. Um, I was so into uh, the story behind Myra and Sebastian and his relationship to uh, Julie that I kind of forgot the goal is to find Leslie. 